Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to build this SpaceX website with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We are going to start with uh, this header navigation. Then we will build all those slides with uh, text here. So as you can see there are three, four, like four or five of those. And then uh, the bottom footer and at the end we will add some JavaScript for entry animations. So as you can see, when we enter a slide, this text appears from the bottom alongside with this button. So we are going to build this and also animation for those buttons, buttons here and this button here for mobile navigation. Because if we make it smaller, then we have only this button here. I will put all time tabs in the description and now let's jump into the code. So as always, we are starting with an empty directory. Here I have just my empty SpaceX directory and here inside I will create a new file and I will call it index.html for our um, index page, for our start page. And here I will just put a basic HTML5 structure and uh, now let's just put a title SpaceX as we have here. All right, now you can drag and drop this uh, file into your browser to see a preview. Uh, I will use uh, this button in my IDE, so I will have a live preview. All right, so for now we don't see anything. Let's put uh, content here to see if it works. Yes, it does. And uh, well, now we need to start with this uh, header and navigation. So I will start by putting a header tag. And uh, now let's see, on the desktop uh, size, we have this, uh, those buttons, the, this navigation, this logo, this shop button here, and this mobile navigation. Let's see how it looks when we make it even wider. If we make it uh, wider, you can see that the navigation starts here and ends somewhere here. And the shop and the mobile navigation button stays here. Right, so we will start by this uh, desktop navigation here with logo and those navigation links. And then we will build the navigation for mobile or header for mobile. Because as you can see, if I make it mobile size, we have only the logo and this button here that is not visible at all, but we will fix it too. Right, so uh, we need first the logo. So I will click inspect here. So let's see, we have an SVG element here that we can just copy, I think. So I'll click to edit as HTML. I will copy this, now we can close it. And inside my header, I will just put an A tag with class name logo, so I can style it later inside the CSS. And now let's see, I will put it inside this SVG I have just copied. And uh, let's see how it looks like. Yeah, not bad. Right, uh, under the A tag, Let's see, what do we need? We need the uh, navigation with some links. All right, let's put navigation and we need some links. Um, it will be Falcon 9, another link with uh, Falcon Heavy and then uh, Dragon. The next will be Starship and uh, Human Human Spaceflight. Let's do this one, Human Spaceflight. And uh, the last one, well, they are not that good at design. Let's see. Starling. Right, sure. And Starling. Right, sure. And uh, the last one will be Starling. Right. And uh, then uh, after the navigation, we have uh, those two. And let's see how they behave. If we make it, uh, if we make the screen super big, like super wide, then uh, let's see this thing looks like it stays in the middle, I think, almost. Let's make it even bigger. Yeah, almost in the middle. And uh, we will do this in the middle because now it's now it looks a little bit weird, but we can fix it. And uh, this should be on the right side. Right, uh, let's add it as well under navigation. Let's put uh, maybe another navigation with just a tag for shop and a button for mobile uh, navigation. Uh, so I will put three lines like this for now. And uh, well, let's see how it looks like. It 
it looks really bad, but uh, we will style it inside CSS. So let's start here. Let's put a link for our CSS. And uh, well, we need to create CSS file. So let's put maybe here a new file. Let's name it uh, styles.css. And now, and now let's start by saying that the background of the body should be black. Background color should be black. So three zeros. Uh, this doesn't do anything because we forgot to put the file name here. So let's do styles.css. Okay, now let's go back to styles.css. And let's say that the color of the text should be white. Um, and uh, this didn't do anything because we need to add also that links should be white by default. Now it's a little bit better. And now let's fix maybe the logo so it's white as well. Let's say that all SVGs should have a fill color of white. Now it's a little better. All right, but now we need to fix the header. So let's say that header um, will have a display type of flex. All right, and now let's fix the logo inside because it became super small that it's not visible. So let's say that header SVG. So SVG inside header. Let's see what the size should be. Um, I think it should be like 160 pixels. So let's say the width should be 160 pixels. Now let's see. Yeah, it's a little better. Now uh, maybe we can make it even bigger. Let's see. 170. Yeah. Now I don't know if you can see, but those links here are not centered uh, vertically. So they are aligned to the top. So to fix it, I will go to header. Now we'll do align nine times center. And now they are in the middle. Right, uh, but now we need to pull this shop and uh, navigation button to the right. So how we can do this? Uh, let's maybe add the class name. It will be easier if we go to HTML. And as you can see, we have two navigation tags. The first one for the links in the middle and the other for shop and nav uh, mobile navigation button. I will add some class names. So let's do a class on this one and it will be Let's call this one center, center navigation, center nav. And this one, let's add a class and let's call this one uh, right navigation. Not perfect names, but uh, well, we'll fix it later, maybe. And uh, let's go to back to styles and um, let's see. Let's start maybe with the right navigation, right navigation. And uh, well, to pull it to the right side, we could do position fixed or absolute. And I think we are going to do this or let's see, or maybe not. Um, instead of doing position absolute or fixed on the right navigation, we can do a trick here on the header. And um, if we do space between, oops, uh, sorry, not space between, justify content space between, then we will add spacing between those three elements as much as possible so they will be spread uh, from each other but the problem is those two shouldn't be uh, so far from each other if we have a big screen you see so uh, this will not work so i think we need to remove this one and actually go here and do position fixed and write zero and top zero now let's see yeah, now I think it's a little better. And now we just need to make this uh, this part centered. So it needs to start here and end somewhere here. So let's start uh, maybe by trying uh, justify content. And let's see, maybe space around. Yeah, now it's a little better, but we don't want to have this space here. Let's see. Yeah, you can see we have header here. And we have this space around. Let's see if we do center, it will be just centered. So this is what we need. Let's do just center. And now it's uh, much better. But it would be nice to have some a little bit of space here. Like, uh, I don't know, 40 pixels. So uh, as you remember, inside header, we have this A tag with class name logo. So we are going to use it to add some styling on the logo. And I will do margin right of uh, let's say 20 pixels yeah a little bit more 40 yeah that's much better now let's see yeah 
And uh, now I think we need to fix those links because they don't look that good. So um, let's do header or maybe we can do just center navigation and uh, well, center navigation, let's point to a tag. So for every link, we need to make them capital letters at first. So let's make it uh, text transform, capitalize. No, not capitalize, sorry. It should be uppercase, yes. And the next thing is that we need to get rid of this underline. So let's do text decoration, none. Right, and now they are much smaller. I think if I make it, uh, let's see, if I make it 100%, I think that maybe the text size is the same, but the font is uh, different. So let me grab the font. Let's see what font they are using. So um, let me make this bigger and now let's search for font family. And uh, we can see that they are using the in bold. So let's copy this. And uh, as you can see, it's a free font. So we are going to download this one. Yes. Now I will only unzip it and I will put it inside my directory here. So now I have this unzipped directory with this dead in font. Maybe I should actually create a new directory called fonts and I will put this one inside. So I have fonts dead in and then I have those fonts, font files. Right. And uh, now let's uh, close this one. And uh, now let's change the font. So I think we are going to change the font for a uh, whole document. So I will go to body and uh, we are going to put the same font here. So let me inspect this one. And uh, well, let's do font. And we are going just to copy this part about the font names. Let's do font family. And I will paste this. Yes. Now it has already changed, but it's not the same font because, um, let me see, you can see the F is much uh, shorter in width than the F we have. And the thing is that the browser goes from the left side and tries every font, um, tries to find every font. So we can't find, or the browser can't find for now that in bold because it's not defined. Uh, in our CSS and it's not defined in the file system in my computer. So we need to define this uh, dead in font with uh, this name so the browser can find it. So for now, I think it's using Arial or Verdana as a backup font for displaying the navigation. So to fix it, we need to define our the dead in bold font. Let's do this on the top. And we are going to do this with font face. And uh, here inside there, uh, we need to do font family. And here we will just put the name of the font. And it will be this dead in bold. So we'll have the same name. And now we need to put the source to the font file. So we are going to do URL. And here, let's see. Um, because we are in this style CSS file. And we need to go inside the fonts first. So let's do fonts and then slash the din, the din. And now, <coughs> let's see. Now, let's do this the din bold. The din bold. And it's OTF, it's the OTF. Yeah, now as you can see, the letters are much better. Right, so now I think we need to make them a little bit smaller. So uh, let's scroll to our center navigation and let's do font family, sorry, font size. Let's maybe start with, uh, let's do 12 pixels. And uh, I think that's too small. And then uh, let's try with 14, uh, maybe 15. Yeah, I think that this will work. And uh, now we need to have some spacing between those. And the spacing is like uh, 27 pixels. Uh, so 27, say 26. And let's divide it on the sides. So it will be actually, 13 on each side for everything. So let's add the padding here. Let's say zero pixels on the top and the bottom, but 13 pixels on the sides. So now we have uh, some spacing between those. Maybe the links should be a little bit smaller. So let's do 14. Yeah, I think this will work. Now I think uh, those are not aligned anymore. Let's see, we have this navigation and there. Now I think they are. 
yeah it looks like they are aligned except this shop and mobile navigation button right uh, now let's see uh, if we make the screen this small or this small you can see that ride share is below or under shop and this mobile navigation button so um, to fix it I think I will add the padding on the sides or margin on the sides for this uh, header element. So let's do maybe padding on the sides. Let's do padding and let's say zero pixels on the top and the bottom, but uh, well, 50 pixels on the sides. Yeah, so now you can see we have some default padding on both sides. So we can make it uh, like this small and uh, well, nothing is under the shop and mobile navigation button. And if we make it this big, it stays in the middle. Right, um, but um, let's see how it looks like here now. Um, they have some spacing uh, from the top. So I think I will actually add like 10 pixels here. So we have some spacing as well. And uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more, like 12. Yeah, the difference is that they have this aligned now to the left, or it looks like it's aligned to the left. But if we make the screen bigger, you can see that it's not aligned to the left anymore I think so if I make it this big it's like almost to the middle except this part and uh, that's weird it should be either aligned to the middle or well it should be well I think maybe it is aligned to the content you see so it's aligned to the left where the content starts for each slide if I make it if I close this one yeah I think we did it a little bit wrong but don't worry we are going to fix it even for small super big screen it's it shouldn't be aligned to the middle because it would start here and end somewhere here instead it's aligned with the content width so you can see the content starts here and uh, well let's see how big it is so we have this content div here and let's see the have we need to find the width or this uh, so we have max width of 1400 so we are going to use this 1400 but let's see how it looks like on the normal screen on normal screen let's see then we have some uh, let's see I will inspect this one to find this padding on the left side we have this h2 and then we have this and then we have this one so as you can see they have padding of 50 pixels here from the left because and uh, this one is moved from the left side and this one is not and here you can see that the left is 50% and position absolute on this content here so we are going to do the same the spacing on the left and the right on this should be 50 pixels so let's do this so as you remember we have our navigation here but the spacing on the sides yeah we have the same 50 pixels but it shouldn't be centered so this justify content center i will remove it so now it's aligned to the left and if we make the screen smaller let's see it stays here but let's see here it should go to the center if the screen is uh, bigger than 1400 so let's do something like this let's do max width and 1400 I think it was and now let's do margin zero auto yeah and now we have some spacing here on the left side the same as they have it maybe we should have a little bit more spacing from the top so let's do 20 pixels here yeah and maybe the logo could be bigger so let's make it I don't know 200 in width maybe more 220 okay it was zoomed out uh, so not that big 180 yeah and now let's see it looks like here they have bigger space here so let's see what is the space here okay so let's see where the text starts here okay it starts here and now okay they have some extra padding except this uh, I think this is uh, on the left side they have still 50 pixels from here to here or maybe a little bit more let's see all right this one is aligned to the middle let's do the same sizing so it's 80 percent here let's do 80 percent here as well and uh, yeah i think my logo and their logo starts at the same position almost 
they have a little bit of spacing here so it's not aligned to the content exactly i think it should be uh, but uh, we can maybe make it a little bigger so let's scroll to the logo and let's do maybe 200 pixels and uh, i think we are okay with this top navigation or at least the center part of it so as you can see it's uh, it is in the middle like for now but if i make it super wide it starts here because the content of each slide should start here right now let's fix this shop and mobile navigation button those should be aligned to the right and it doesn't matter how big the screen is so let's fix it so uh, it's inside this right navigation div so uh, we just need to add some padding from the top the same that we have for header so we could alter this one top 20 pixels or uh, yeah i think this will work we can actually go to header and add some have of uh, let's say 40 pixels so we can have the same have on this one on the right side here let's also do have of 40 pixels and now um, let's do display of type flex so we can um, vertically align the content of of the right navigation so let's do align items center so now i think they are on the same line let's see yeah they are they are vertically aligned but not on the same line as uh, this but uh, it's because of this button because it's bigger than the text here but uh, we'll fix it let's start by saying that um, let's style our button first so uh, let's go to index html and let's add some class name here and uh, i will add a class called uh, hamburger 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 just hamburger because it's hamburger button and now i will do just hamburger and uh, well maybe start by saying position absolute now as you can see the shop is behind this button but we can fix it by adding some padding right on the navigation uh, right navigation so let's do padding right and let's say yeah 40 pixels this didn't help because uh, we need to put the padding right on the link here inside so let's do right navigation and a tag inside and let's add the padding from the right so it have so this shop link will have some padding from the right from the button 40 pixels still nothing let's see yeah still nothing we need to get rid of this because this doesn't help instead we are going to add the oh, we'll, let's put it back 40 pixels but for the hamburger let's say right zero so it still is so it stays on the right side here right so now i think the shop should be aligned to the starling it almost is let's see it's aligned to it's vertically aligned to this uh, navigation and let's see uh, here we have the header mm, i think here we have the problem on the body you see on the body element we have some margin from the top that we need to get rid of so let's scroll here and let's say that html and the body shouldn't have any margin or padding and now let's see now we have header here and now, now i think everything looks correct let's see i will use my line here yeah i think they are in line now and i just need to have same styling for this shop button so i will scroll here and let's see yeah i will just copy those styles and i'll put it here now we have two padding declarations the first one is uh, the first one is 40 pixels to the right so it will have some empty space for this button and the other comes from those links so uh, let's change it by putting 40 here so it will have 40 pixels on the sides for this shop button and we can get rid of this one and i think now it looks okay right so uh, now i think we need to fix this uh, mobile navigation button because it looks awful so hamburger and um, let's style this one so we have three lines but uh, those lines should be white so let's do color of the text inside because those three lines are actually is actually text let's do fff so it's white now let's get rid of this background color of the button 
so the background color transparent yeah now there's a small border on this button i don't know if you can see this yeah so we are going to get rid of this border the border zero yes now the thing is we need to rotate it so let's do transform and let's do rotate and let's try with 90 degrees yeah now it's uh, better yeah i think it looks fine maybe we can pull it up a little bit so we have right zero let's try top zero and that's we need to pull it down try with 20 pixels that's too much maybe 10 yeah now the thing is i forgot that uh, this pattern is really small as you can see and to make the clickable area bigger we need to add some padding so i will do padding on this button of 20 pixels and now it's well somewhere here so uh, let's fix it and let's do top zero well now it's here and uh, we need to pull it up even more so maybe let's do top of minus 10 minus 10 pixels less let's do minus 7 yeah and uh, now the space here is too small so i will scroll here to right navigation shop link and i will do 50 instead let's see if this will work yeah i think this will work all right so uh, let's see now how our navigation behaves so for mobile it uh, looks bad but we will fix it later uh, mobile styling but otherwise i think it looks okay let's see on the super big screen let's make the screen bigger like i know 75 percent yeah let's do 75 percent here and uh, i think it looks fine yeah and uh, well now we need to add those uh, slides so as you can see the website is divided to one two three four slides and uh, those are just images and then we have content here on each image with uh, header another header bigger and the button and this is on all slides i think yeah except here we don't have this subheader and then we have footer but now let's focus on the slides so uh, first we need to get those uh, images right so we have fonts with index and styles let's create a new directory called images right and uh, i have already prepared the images so i will just put them here and now as you can see we have uh, for example a hotel set we have it here oops and uh, yeah i can open it and you can see um, but um, if you want to grab them you can just inspect each slide and you can click on the on the link to download this image but now let's uh, fix it so it will cover this uh, so we can create those slides let's go to index html and now let's see um it will be definitely under the header so let's do um let's call that each slide will be a section so we'll not misuse the ifs we'll do a section so first section and uh, let's create more sections i think it was four slides so let's see one two three four yes and then on the bottom we'll have a footer later and uh, let's just put footer text and now maybe on each slide let's try to put uh, the content first so for each slide we'll put a div with class name content to position it uh, according to the slide and uh, this text will be let's say h2 and this will be h3 and uh, why i'm not using h1 on this one because we will have many of those and h1 should be only it should exist only once on the page so let's do h2 and uh, l tail sat hot bird something like this bird in g mission and the uh, size of the letters doesn't matter i will make it uppercase in css above we have h3 with uh, upcoming launch and then we have also a button but uh, i will make it a link because well let's say it's a link to a youtube video with watch and uh, let's see watch here and uh, yeah that's it let's maybe now put the content for every uh, slide so let's 
put also here and here. I will just copy paste for now. And uh, for next slide, uh, let's see. Let's put this text. I will just copy paste it. And we have this. And then we have this. And we have rewatch. Maybe because I have already clicked on this one. I don't know. I will keep the watch for now. Then we have a Starship update on the. And we don't have any. Well, star, Starship update should be big. And we don't have any H3 here. So let's remove it. And the last one. We have only H2, that is that has a lot of text, and we don't have any H3 smaller. And here we have learn more. Learn more. Let's see the one above. We have learn more here as well. Learn more. Yeah. Now let's see how it looks like for us. It looks bad, but we will fix it. So um, let's start maybe by putting images on each slide. So the first one is uh, this racket. And uh, it's called uh, Evotelsat, my image. It's not JPEG, it's WebP, a super recent technology of using images on the web. And those images are super optimal when it comes to size and quality. So, um, um, but I will put, you can, I, we can either have other also class names like Evotelsat or something like this, and then add images inside CSS based on the other um, class name or we can maybe do some small cheating and place images here so i will do background image here url and uh, let's do images slice and then i have this eotl sat dot web p i will save it let's see if it worked yes it did it doesn't look perfect but let's fix the images first so let's do style and the background URL here as well. Let's see the second image. I have the names of those files that are similar to the content that is above them. Um, I think I don't have this image. Yeah, so I will actually grab it. So the image is here. So I'll click it. Now I have it here. I will put it inside images and uh, I will rename it to, let's see. USSF, yeah, uh, refactor rename, USFF, and now I will use it inside my HTML. So let's see the other content images slash USFF dot web. Did it work? Yes, it did. Right, the next one, uh, Starship to land on NASA. Starship, Starship update should be. Um, I have wrong text here. It should be one, two, three, four. Mm, let's see. First, we have this EOTL set. And uh, well, here we have this wrong. Okay, so let's put this hotel set on the first here, and it should say upcoming lunch. And then we have the second screen should be USFF. So let's put it on the other. So it should go here, but we need also H3, and it should say recent mission. Then the next, the next one should be here, Starship update. And we have only H2. And then the last one is this. So let's do, so it will be this one. So it's, uh, let's put this on H2 because it's the big text. And here we should have learn more. And above we have learn more as well. And then we have rewatch, but let's change it to watch. Yes. And we have watch again. And that's the first one. Right now, let's see. Yeah, the next one is the third. Here's first, second, here we have the third Starship update, yes. Do we have a Starship update image? Yes, we have. So let's do style, style, background, image URL, Starship update, and we have the image. Now uh, the last one, landing on the moon, Starship moon. So let's do style, background image, images, Starship, whoop, Starship moon web p. Um, Wrong file name, start. Okay, it shouldn't be start ship, it should be starship. Star ship. Yeah, and I think it works, but uh, the last image starts with black, so that's why we don't see any difference. Right, but now let's fix those um, inside the CSS. So I will go to style CSS. As, as you remember, every slide is a section, so I will just style all sections inside our HTML. And uh, well, here we need to first um, start maybe by doing that the have 
should be different. It shouldn't be that small, but instead the have should be 100%. So let's do 100% of view, uh, view have. So uh, it will take the whole screen, each slide. We can maybe do that minimum have should be this. Right, uh, now it doesn't take it take this it takes the space but it doesn't take the it doesn't show the image and as you can see the problem is that i thought that i put this background image on the section but i actually did it on content inside and so that's is wrong let me fix it so on all sections i put this background image on the content but i should on the section instead so on the first one as well i will cut it from here and i will put it the section so now it's better and uh, now here the image repeats and but i first need to fix this let's get rid of this from content and let's put it on the section and uh, the last one i think let's cut it from here and let's put it inside section All right now let's see yeah we have images they kind of work let's go back to style CSS, and now let's see uh first let's fix that the image the images do not repeat. So let's do background repeat, no repeat. Okay, but uh, well, now we have this black thing underneath because they don't repeat anymore. And uh, we can fix it by doing background size and cover. Now let's see, yeah, now they are trying to cover, they are stretched to cover the whole screen. Now let's do background position, center, center, so they are in the middle, aligned to the center. Yeah, so we are getting there. Now, uh, let's maybe fix the content of each slide. So as you remember, inside each section, we have this div with class name content, and uh, we, want, we want it to be on the bottom left part. So I will first add position relative on each slide, so we can add position, so we can position absolutely, and the div content on this uh, depending on the position of the section so let's do now bottom zero or i think they were doing like 15 percent so let's do 15 percent here as well and from the left it was uh, 50 pixels so now as you can see we have it here then we have it here so that looks really nice and here as well and uh, yeah that will i think that will work let's see yeah and now we just need to fix the sizing and the button. So let's see. Let's do section div content. And let's start maybe with this h2, the biggest text. So I will tell sad hot bird 13g mission. So it should be this big. So let's do font size. Let's do maybe 24 pixels. And let's see where we are at. It's uh, It should be much, much bigger. Mm -hmm. So let's do maybe 40, like eight pixels. Now it's, now we are there, but as you can see, they are wrapping text. So I could either use break lines or I could make this uh, div smaller, div content smaller. So let's do width and let's do, or maybe max width. And let's do like, I don't know, 200 pixels. And let's see how it worked. A little bigger, 220, 240. 260 yeah i think uh, this will work right uh, but now let's get rid of this spacing here so i think it comes from margin so i will do margin zero but also we have this uh, on this h3 so uh, let's do section div content h3 and let's do margin zero here as well so now they are next to each other, but we should put, oh, well, at this a little bit of space. Yes, let's put like margin bottom here, margin bottom, let's say 10 pixels. Now we should probably put those two together. So now they, it's like one margin definition. So the first one is the top. If we have three values, the first one is the top, then we have the sides, both left and right, and then we have the bottom. Uh, you can also use four values for each side but uh, well if you do three then it's top sides and bottom and if you do only 
two, then it's uh, sides and uh, first top and le top and bottom, and then sides. And if you do only one, then it's all sides, even top and the bottom. And uh, well, now I think the next thing is we need to fix this link watch button. So let's do section a tag. So we have only one link inside each uh, div content. You can actually put even here div content just to make it a little prettier and uh, in with the code. And now let's see. Now we need to make it. Uh, let's add border first. Border one pixel solid white. And now let's make it so it takes 100% of the width. So we can make it by doing display block. Yes, should it take all, this, all the space. No, it shouldn't. So let's get rid of this and let's just put padding instead. Let's say padding 20 pixels on all sides. And uh, now as you can see, the border uh, is under this mission, but we can fix it by doing display inline block. Yeah, yeah, now it's better. Let's see, the border should be a little bigger. So let's do two pixels. And the text inside should be uppercase. So let's do a text transform uppercase. Yes. Now the now the no underline. So let's fix this. Uh, text decoration none. And more spacing on the sides. So we have 20 pixels on the top and the bottom and on the sides. Let's add second value. So it will be sides. And let's do 100 pixels maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's too big now. Let's do 60. A little bit less, let's do 50. I think this will work. Yeah, I think this will work. Maybe 60 looks better. Now we need to add some spacing above the button. So let's do margin top of, uh, let's say, 30 pixels. Yeah, yeah, I think this will work. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, our first slide starts here and it should start uh, on the top here. So to fix it, let's scroll back to the header and uh, we need to make this uh, sticky. So let's do position fixed. So we'll make it fixed to the top and do top zero. And now it starts our slide. Our slide starts on the top, but uh, well, we need to add uh, this uh, Z index so will be above the slide. Let's do Z index one. Yeah, so now it's above the slide. Let's see if I make it smaller here. Well, now the problem is that this, uh, this and this should be centered. Uh, well, not centered, but uh, this content thing should be max of uh, 1400. Same with this. But uh, I know how to fix the... Let's start with the sections. So... Um, to fix the section content, let's scroll down and to make it start here. So let's say it will be this invisible div will be 1400. We can probably do 50% from the left, 50% from the left, or can we? Now it will be centered. No, you know what? Uh, I will go to HTML first and uh, for each content, I will put another div above. So let's do div with class name content outer like this. And uh, I'll put the content inside. Yes, here as well, even here and the last one. So now still everything works, but uh, inside section, we have first section outer and then we have content inside. Right, so let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's see, um, we will add styling for div with um, content outer class name. And the thing is that this content outer will have max width of 1400. So let's do max width of 1400 pixels. And now let's see, still nothing. We have content outer. Yes, we have it here. Section div content outer max width 1400. Now we need to also make it centered. So let's do margin zero auto. Let's see. Still nothing. Okay, uh, it works. Let's see, I think it works. Let's see, content outer on the first. Okay, it has been moved here. Right, as you can see, it's it has zero pixels in half because this one is actually absolute positioned. 
Right, so to fix it, we probably need to add position relative here as well. Yeah, now it works. So it starts where it should, but uh, well, it shouldn't be aligned to the bottom. Let's see where it is now. So content outer is aligned to the bottom here. Okay, and this is uh, here. From the left side, it's okay, but from the bottom, it's not. It says 15%, uh, but maybe we can change this percent to view half. Yeah, and now it works. Right, now let's make it back to 100%. And uh, yeah, I think it looks okay. Um, the first one should be able to tell us that, but we have something else. Yeah, we have something wrong with the text. So let's quickly jump to index HTML and let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first section should have this AOTL set and it's correct. So why do we see this USFF that comes from the next section? Let's see. I will make it a little bit smaller here and see. Um, this is the first. This is the second section. But the content from the second section is shows. Let's see. All right. So the content out there from the second section starts here on the top and let's see the previous one the content outer I don't see where it is uh, okay it's above and it should be be there above so let's see content outer okay maybe if we do this display flex then we can make uh, this one's content outer aligned to the bottom so let's do justify content flex end well, this is not exactly what I meant, but let's see. At least we have correct text. Maybe it shouldn't be justified content, it should be align items. Because we want to do it vertically. Let's see, now it div content outer is here and it's super small. Maybe because we need to add flex grow, flex grow to one. And now it's fixed, so content outer is now full size. Because if you are doing flex, then all children will have flex grow to zero because they will not grow by default. All right, uh, but now we we have it. So we I think we are done with the content of the of those slides. Maybe except the last one. Let's see. Starship to land as astronauts on the moon. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. Let's see. Is it 280? Maybe 300. Whoops, not 3000. Starship to land NASA, maybe a little bit more, 320, uh, 330, 340. So we'll have this astronauts on here, 360. This should work, this should work. And um, well, um, now I think it will be time to fix some animations. And we will start by... Or maybe not animation. Let's fix the footer first. Sorry. Let's go to index HTML. Let's go to footer. We have just footer text. And uh, let's put something here. So what do they have? They have this text and they have links and that's all. So we can actually put first a text and um, maybe put the navigation tag first. So we can center it to the middle or to the center of the screen. So first we have the span element with and that says just SpaceX, SpaceX, uh, copy sign. So let's do like this copy and uh, 2022, let's say, yeah, we have it. No, it didn't work. It should be like this. Let's see. Now the copy sign works and then we have several links. So uh, maybe I can just grab them like this. Yes. And now let's put every on a separate line and now I will just grab those spaces here and I will add it on each line to add some uh, A tags. Closing tags here and the last one here. And we have A tags on every text here now. So now those should be clickable links. Let's maybe add some ref. Yes, so now there are links. But now we need to fix it uh, with uh, CSS to add some spacing and other stuff. So Let's go to styles and uh, let's see. Let's say footer and uh, let's start by adding some padding, maybe 100 pixels everywhere. Yeah, something like this. Now, 
and we have this footer navigation tag inside if i remember correctly let's see yes we do and let's say that let's say that the content inside should be centered yes and now we just need to add some spacing between the links so let's say that inside footer navigation we have a tags that we want to add some uh, padding so let's say padding zero on the top and the bottom and uh, 20 pixels on the sides yeah kind of maybe a little bit less in the 14 yeah now i think the text should be much smaller maybe not much but let's put it on the footer so it'll be on both a tags and span on the uh, the first space copy 2022 font size let's do 14 pixels and let's see yeah um now the span so this first one let's do footer nav span should be grayish let's see yeah let's do color of i don't know like 555 maybe a little bit brighter let's do 777 i think this will work now we need to get rid of those underline underlines sorry so on the links here let's do text decoration none yeah and uh, even from the spacex to the twitter should be bigger space so let's do display inline block first here on the span and now let's do padding right of i don't know let's say 40 pixels and let's see yeah i think this will work the maybe the text could be a little bit smaller or maybe our text is too bold. I don't know. We could try with, uh, let's see, we have fonts here. We have bold. We don't have semi bold. Okay, let's see what kind of font they are using here. Let's see. Font, font style normal. All right. And uh, let's add another font face then with uh, dead in regular. This will be the name. And the file will be, let's see what should be the file without anything like this right and now um let's see we can actually do scroll to the bottom and for our footer we can do font family and uh, we can do dead in the in regular and now i think yeah the links are look better and now this is screaming because we should add some backup font like sun surf should be sun surf yes so uh, yeah now it looks better yes I think maybe the padding is too big, 100 pixels. Let's maybe do just 50. Yeah, I think this is better. Maybe the links should be even smaller. Let's do 100% here and here, and let's see. Yeah, our text is too big, so I will make it 12 pixels. And on this span, we should do text transform, uppercase. So it will be capital letters on SpaceX, and they have more spacing between the links so let's add it as well maybe do 20 pixels and now let's see yeah almost identical um privacy i think we have two links uh, in one yeah here we should put a tag here ends and a graph starts here so it shouldn't be it should be two links yeah now let's see and it should be privacy policy as one well. Sorry, no. Yeah, almost identical. We have maybe too much spacing on the span SpaceX thing, but we can make it like 30 pixels. And now, yeah, looks nice to me. Now the thing is that we are done with the footer. So I think that, uh, or maybe let's see. Uh, let's add also this uh, gray when we hover. So let's do footer nav a on hover should be gray so it's the color of aaa let's see yeah but we need to add transition let's do transition transition color 0.5 seconds so half second and linear now let's see maybe it should be a little bit faster like 2.0.2 seconds yeah i think this will work let's see here yeah i think this will work right uh, i think we are done with the footer what's next and I think that the next part is uh, we can make this header uh, animation here so we can see those lines we are going to fix those so um let's see let's scroll to the header center navigation a tag and uh, because this those tags 
uh, have almost the same styling as this shop. We and we have copied some styles here from here. I'm going to add this shop button here as well. So it's right navigation A like this. And now we don't need those three because we have it already here. Right. But now let's see. If I make it bigger, yeah, it looks fine. Now we need to add those uh, lines underneath. And I think that uh, we can do some magic with CSS without adding any extra elements. So let's do that both on center navigation A tag. We'll have a before and also on right navigation. So this shop link will have a magic element before. And uh, well, let's say that it will be content will be empty. The width will be, I don't know, three pixels. The height will be three pixels and the background color will be red. Just to see if it works. And uh, no, let's put maybe content test. Oh, sorry, wrong. And we are here, not on the SpaceX website. So we don't need this test. Or maybe we do. Let's do test. Yes. So this is not visible yet. But what happens if we add position relative here? Nothing happens with the links. But if we add position absolute here, then we see those red dots here. So if we make it 30 and 30, it's super big. Right. But now let's fix it. Let's make it white, white or FFF, doesn't really matter. And now let's make the height of just three pixels. So now we have lines. Now instead of width, let's do left, zero, right, zero. So we'll take from the left to the right. Yeah, you see. And now um, let's align this to the bottom. So let's do bottom zero. Yeah. Let's pull it down a little bit more. Minus 20 pixels. That's too much. Minus 10. Yes. So this uh, works, let's see, but the line should be only underneath. It shouldn't start from the left side. And it starts from the left side because we have this uh, padding on the side. So it should start with 13 pixels on the left and 13 pixels on the right. It should end. Yeah, now it's better. And it should be thinner. So let's do just half of two pixels and let's pull it up a little bit more like 14, 20. Um, let's see, minus 100. Okay, wrong, minus 10, or just minus 1, no, minus 5, let's see here, it's just like 3 or 4 pixels, it's a 3, and uh, yeah, I think this will work, maybe it's just 1 pixel, but I will keep it uh, as 2 pixels in half, so it will be more visible for you guys, right, but now, it shouldn't be visible, uh, when we are not hovering, so, um, actually, I think that I don't want to use left and right, Instead, I want to use width and I want to do like width 100% and then I will change it so it will not be, it will not be visible. Or well, let's see what happens if I do left. Now it, this will not work. So I will just do width 100% and see now it starts here under F and that looks nice. But what happens actually if I do 13 pixels and write 13 pixels? Okay, then it's not listening on the, uh, on this. Um, then I think instead of doing 13 pixels on the padding on this links, we are going to put margin instead. So let's do margin 0, 13 pixels, and here just 0. Now the lines are underneath. And now we can actually make those lines 0%, so they are not visible. And if someone hovers those A tags, we can change this width to be 100%. So let's do, let's copy those. But we are adding on hover and before and before. Same here. Call on hover, hover and before. And now we can do hopefully width of 100% on hover. Let's see. Yeah, we have this line. Now we just need to add some transition. So the transition and on the width should be like half of the second. And let's say it will be linear. Now let's see. Yes, the line grows. It's too slow. Let's do maybe 0.2 second. Yeah, it it grows and uh, it looks fine. Let's see here. But the thing is, as you can see, that uh, if we hover and then release the cursor from it, it disappears to the right. So let's say that uh, here we have width zero, but uh, we will also add left zero as well. So it starts with the left side, but 
when we when we hover it will be right whoops right zero now let's see didn't do anything okay and um, but we need to maybe also update left to initial to the initial value now let's see almost there but we are doing it from the wrong side you see it's it grows from the right side to the left and then disappears to the left and they have from the left to the right from the left to the right and we have from the right to the left so we just need to uh, instead of left here do right and then let's do right initial here and left zero here let's see from the left to the right from the left to the right yeah we did it from the left to the right and it works on every link so that's cool even on the shop well but on the shop we have still this padding huge padding here that we need to fix we have removed this padding and replaced it with margin on the center navigation let's do the same here so let's do 0 50 and here let's just do 0 and now let's see and uh, shop from the left to the right from the left to the right yeah it works if we make it bigger it will be better visible no they are not visible okay because there are elements above i can see it here from the left to the right from the left to the right and uh, i think it works fine okay so i think we are done with this uh, top navigation uh, animation so i think the next part will be actually to make it more mobile friendly the top navigation because the rest is actually mobile friendly so uh, as you can see for their site if it's a super narrow screen like a mobile then they are removing this center navigation links and the spacex logo is uh, in the middle so um let's see first let's maybe remove the center navigation if it's a small screen so let's scroll to the center navigation here it starts and uh, well we are going to do this mobile first and that means that default styling will be for mobile so by default center navigation will have display none so will be not visible yes and uh, so this is the default now we don't have any of those links but if the if we have desktop so if the media screen mean width of the screen let's say it's uh, 1200 pixels then we will put it back center navigation display let's say block okay so if we make the screen big enough the links will appear let's see where they should appear uh, somewhere here how many pixels is it it's like 980 let's see yeah so now they now they appear maybe we can make it like 1000 yeah something like this this will work right so uh, now let's see now the logo spacex logo spacex logo should be in the middle when it's mobile so um let's see we have here header logo so uh, hmm. here we have header and maybe we could fix it by saying that uh, hmm. there are two different ways or at least two different ways of fixing this first we could say that the logo should be fixed to the top and centered with position fixed and stuff other solution would be to update the header CSS and put the logo in the middle by doing like uh, justify content center I think it would be much easier to just say uh, to just style it uh, by doing uh, position fixed on the logo so default on the logo will be not this but instead uh, this 40 pixels right margin should be only for desktop so I will copy this desktop thing and I will add this header logo here inside because the CSS should be only for um, desktop and not for mobile and we are doing mobile first so this default styling will be for mobile and for mobile we want this header logo to be position fixed and uh, top zero yeah maybe top like 20 pixels and uh, left let's say 50 percent but now it starts from the middle now we need to pull it left so let's say the uh, margin left we can do a negative margin left to pull it left and we need to do half of the width so it will be minus 100 pixels now it's in the middle it should be a little bit smaller i think yeah so maybe let's do hmm, 
First, let's do that this header SVG styling should be for desktop and for mobile, we will do like 140 pixels. So now it's smaller and I think the sizing is all right. Now we just need to make, instead of minus 100, we just need to do minus 70. Yeah, right. And uh, this will work. Now let's see. Now the problem is that on the sub size, we have it on position fixed to the top center. So uh, we added this for mobile as default. Now we need to reset this on uh, desktop. So position relative on desktop and top initial value, left initial value and margin left. Let's do just initial value here as well. So now it works. Yeah, you see? Now we have just SpaceX in the middle and uh, the shop button should disappear as well. Let's fix it in a minute. Let's see the logo first. Yeah, I think this will work. Now the shop button, let's remove it as well. Mm, so this shop button is this right navigation A tag, but um, let's add this uh, media media query for uh, desktop first. So let's do screen or media and mean width of uh, 1000 pixels. The, let's see how it looks. The shop button should not be visible. So this is styling for desktop. And for mobile, the display should be none. Display none, but here should be display, I think inline block. So let's do inline block. Okay, now this is, uh, now it's not visible. The shop button is not visible, but yeah, I think it looks good. I think that our position of this navigation button is better what they have because they have this, they have it aligned to the right side way too much. You see, you see here, it's way to the right side and we have it here so we have some more spacing now you shouldn't have it on the side like this you should have more spacing right but now i think we are done with the top navigation top header it looks nice and uh, we have this uh, cool underline animation and then we have it uh, for mobile as well but now we need to fix this hamburger menu first I will add the cursor pointer pointer here. So we will have this hand cursor when we are hovering this. Then I need to make it uh, clickable. So it should do something. And I think it's time where we add some, a little bit of uh, JavaScript. So we will add this, uh, this cool animation here. All right, so now we are going to do this uh, mobile navigation. Right, so uh, to do this mobile navigation, I think we are going to start with this view. So, uh, and we'll fix the transition later. So when we click on the button, we'll do we see this part is dimmed. So it has some kind of 10% um, black overlay. As you can see, the image becomes uh, darker. And here on the right side, we get this uh, navigation with the same links. So. Um, and the navigation hamburger button becomes an X. All right, so we need to start by going to index.html. And now let's see. I think we will have the, another navigation. Let's see, here we have the header and here we have uh, navigation, the first one that is in the middle for desktop and then this right side. And uh, I think that we will put another navigation and this another navigation will be this black navigation for mobile only. So um, let's add the class name here, class navigation, uh, let's say mobile nav. And now let's put all the links inside. So we need all those links. So we'll copy paste it. And also I will add this shop link here as well. So now let's see. And we have those links here. Doesn't look good, but uh, well, we, we see them. So now let's see um, how it should look like. We have all the links and we have this nav element. So maybe we can go now to CSS and style it. So uh, let's maybe do this before the section CSS starts. And it was navigation with uh, class name mobile nav. Right, and first we need to make it aligned to the right side and uh, Let's see, should it be 50% all the time? No, it's like a fixed width. 
Uh, so let's see what's the width is actually here. It's like 290 pixels of width. So let's first make it fixed. Uh, sorry, should be position fixed. Oops, fixed. And the top zero, right zero. And the bottom zero. And uh, let's do that index. So it will be above our header. So let's do two. And let's add background color of black. So let's do zero, zero, zero. And now it should be, we should put width of, uh, I think it was 290 pixels. Yeah, maybe 280 will be enough. Yeah. And uh, let's see, compared to this one, I think it's okay. Now every link inside, or maybe let's start by removing this on desktop. So, um, or maybe let's remove it on desktop later when we will fix the animation. Um, let's say that this will be only visible where it has also a class name active. Otherwise, without class name active, it will be display none. But with class name active, it will be display block. So now it's not visible, but let's quickly add this class name active. And we will toggle this class name active with JavaScript when we click on this hamburger button. Right, but now let's uh, style it first. So um, each link, so let's do nav, mobile nav, active, and a tag inside. Each link should be uh, on uh, in a separate row. So let's do display of type block, and uh, it should have this line underneath. So let's do border bottom. It's like one pixel solid, and it's uh, almost black. So let's do maybe two, two, two. Let's see, yeah, something like this. Now uppercase and more padding. So let's do text transform uppercase. And let's add some padding of, I don't know, 20 pixels. Yeah. And no underline. So let's do text decoration none. And now I think those should be aligned to the right side. Yes. So let's do text transform. No, sorry, text align to the right. Yes. Now that font shouldn't be bold. So I'll do font family and then we have this dead in regular and sans serif as default yes and i think this looks good now the links uh, i don't know why they have like no border here i think the border should go all the way to the right side as we have it uh, but the links should start from from here so we have some we need some spacing for the uh, close button so let's do here padding top of at least 40 pixels i think yeah this uh, this will work maybe a little bit uh, less padding here let's say 16 yes i think this will work maybe the text size should be a little bit smaller but well uh let's let's fix first the close button for the navigation so uh, here we have uh, where we have this hamburger here let's add that index so it will be free so it will be above the above the mobile navigation but it's not let's see let's try to find it and uh, maybe if we change it to fixed it will be above no it's not if we do like 300 still not visible hmm right i think that uh, it's because the hamburger button is inside header and the header has less Z index than this div. So maybe if we take it from here and we move it outside of the header, now we see this here and uh, it's still clickable. Let's see how it looks on, let's see the styling and uh, styling hamburger here. Yeah, so that's all right. But hamburger styling is based also on this right navigation here. It got some, um, it got some uh, padding and top and stuff. So I think I need to add top. I need to add those together. So it will be minus, it will be 13 here. Yes. And on the right side, well, can we keep it zero or let's do this like 20 pixels here. Yes. And um, now I want to hide this so I can see. Maybe it shouldn't be 20. Let's do like 10 on the hamburger from the right side. Yeah, now it's better. Maybe we can do less like six and yeah, this will work. Now let's make this uh, active. So we'll say this 
and let's do more spacing from the top and here we have padding top 40 let's do maybe 60 or maybe 80 uh, i think 70 will be just right and uh, let's add more padding from the right side on the links uh, so we had uh, let's do 16 on the top and the bottom but uh, 20 on the sides maybe 20 like 25 yes all right so uh, now we want this x uh, hamburger menu hamburger button to be an x so how can we put it do this we can add an active class here on the button and let's say that hamburger will have class name active alongside with this mobile navigation active when we click on the button so now we'll just do the styling for the hamburger let's see hamburger so let's add hamburger active right so when it's active you remember we had the three lines there we want to get rid of one line and we want to make it an x of those this will be complicated with lines as a text so i think we will replace those lines um with some span elements so let's see here we have this hamburger with three lines instead of those three lines i will add three times span yeah empty span now the hamburger is not visible but uh, because we don't have any text inside but we will fix it by doing hamburger and a span element inside and each span will be a line of a hamburger like so let's do width of uh, let's say 20 pixels half will be like two pixels and the background color will be white of each line and uh, this should work but it did not let's see let's add the border here on this button right so uh, the lines are not visible let's see why maybe we need to put display block yeah now we see the lines as you can see they are next to each other and we don't need the rotation now so it will should be horizontal now uh, maybe we can make it like 14 pixels in width for the lines maybe a little bit more let's do 20 maybe less 16 and now we need to add some margin from the top and the bottom so let's say it will be two pixels and zero on the sides for the lines yes and uh, let's see yeah, i think this work uh, so let's get rid of this red border and now for the hamburger active we want to remove the last line so how can we do this we do hamburger active span last child display none now we have only two lines so um for those two lines from the hamburger active we need to rotate each of those in separate directions so it will so they will create an x so uh, maybe instead of display none we can do opacity zero so we can do some uh, disappearing or opacity from one to zero it will shade uh, shade off or you understand um right now those two lines let's do hamburger active and span and let's do first child and uh, second child so let's do hamburger active i will put this in another line and the second child will go like this and child and second like this and now let's do transition rotate and let's do 45 degrees whoops degrees mm, this so it should be transform yeah now they're rotated and um, but the thing is that this second should go should be minus 45 minus 45 yeah now we are x, we have this x and um, but um rotation is weird we can fix it by doing uh, transform transform origin and let's do center center maybe just top left mm, now this will not help i think instead we need to add some uh, uh, padding and margin stuff so let's do position absolute on both of those and uh, well 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 it solved everything um what happens if we put position absolute here it still works let's see if we remove this active well then we have only one line and uh, because they are on top of each other and it should be the it shouldn't be this way so let's change this to relative now they're fine and now for let's add active back so we should see an x but uh, here on the second arm let's do a top of minus uh, 
it's the minus three pixels. Yes, maybe more. Let's do minus five, less four. Yeah, now it's an X. Now let's add maybe transition on this hamburger. Hamburger span, so on the lines. Transition, everything, 0 0.2 seconds linear, right? So now we can see, no. Um, but now let's fix the JavaScript for toggling this. So um, we can either put a separate file or we can create this small script here. And um, well, I'll put it here for now. So script for our JavaScript. And the, the thing is that we want to add an event listener on the button, or we can add a function that will just toggle. So uh, I think the prettiest way would be to use uh, event listeners. So let's see where is our hamburger. We will remove this active and we'll remove the active here. Okay, and now let's say that um, we will define the variable on the window. Let's say window or not. Uh, there's another thing we need to fix when we have this uh, thing active and it's this drop down here, you see? Uh, so let's fix this thing first. I will remove it for now. And uh, under the header, let's add a div with uh, just class name shadow. Yeah, and now let's go to CSS and under hamburger, let's do shadow and let's do, it will be position absolute inset zero. So it will be uh, top left, right and bottom zero. And now let's add some background color of RGBA zero, zero, zero and point one of black. Maybe we need to do fixed. No, why it's, why is it not visible shadow? div class shadow. Okay, it's because we are checking this wrong site. Okay, so we have it here. Let's add z index. Z, oops, z index should be one. Yeah. And the navigation, uh, the header should be like two. So let's do header should be two. So it should be above it. Now this should be, let's say 10% of black, maybe like 30%. Yes. And, um, but the color should be only visible when it's active. Otherwise, um, yeah, let's do like this when it's active. So, um, shadow active and it will be darker, right? But uh, now we remove those active class names and now we can add a script to toggle it where we, when we click on the button and uh, the hamburger button is not visible. Let's see, hamburger, uh, why it's not visible and, uh, Let's see, hamburger, it's here, hamburger, let's inspect for hamburger, let's see where it is, hamburger is here. Okay, so it is there, but it's not like visible, um, all right, okay, it's only on the top screen, we need to change it to fix, so it's on uh, every screen, all right, let's see, and now let's go to our JavaScript, so let's put a script here. Or maybe it will be prettier to put it on a separate file. So let's uh, close the fonts and the images and let's put a new directory called scripts and let's create a new script called uh, navigation.js. And here we'll just put a script with source to our scripts, scripts slash navigation.js. All right, and now we can add some JavaScript here. So maybe the easiest way would be to define a variable with let is active to false. And then um, we will have a function toggle and, um, and this will check if it's now active, is active, then we will de deactivate everything. Otherwise we will activate everything. So activate, oops, activate, uh, deactivate or disable disable something like this um disable active yeah and so now um this toggle let's put this function on click for this our hamburger button so button we can add on click toggle like this and now let's see if it's not active and we want to activate let's say it will alert with test and see yes it worked right so when we want to activate we want to add the active classes on three elements. So uh, let's, uh, the first one is this hamburger. So let's do a document, get, uh, or maybe we can do a query selector, 
hamburger dot hamburger and the class name and here we can do hamburger and active and now the same thing we will do for two more the for the second will be shadow and the last will be mm, mobile navigation mobile nav and same here mobile nav so now the activating should work yes it does but uh, after we added those classes we need to update is active to true and now we can we can do the same thing for disabling but uh, other way around so is active should become false when we deactivating everything and we should remove those active classes now let's see it works the shadow works the button works and the mobile navigation works but let's add some pretty animations so click on this it should uh, appear from the right side like this so let's go to styles and uh, let's search for mobile navigation here so um all of the styling we could actually put even if it's not active so now it's uh, visible even if it's not active but we can fix it this way we will remove those styling for when it's active because we already have it here even if it's if it doesn't have active class class name but for um let's say that for not active it will be moved to the right you see it's right zero but we can move it even more to the right we can do right of minus 280 yeah so it has been moved to the right side and when it's active we can do right back to zero now we can add transition and uh, transition on the right with 0.3 seconds and linear now when you click it shows like this we can change this to is in out so the animation will be a little bit different yeah and now it will be much better to have this um, that each link shows separately so how can we do this we can do that uh, by default and the opacity of this of those links will be zero but um, when mobile navigation is active the op oops the opacity will become one but uh, we need to add transition here transition on the opacity let's do 0.3 seconds and linear now let's see now we can actually put a transition delay of let's say 0.3 seconds so we will show the black box first as you can see we are showing all the links at once and they are showing from the top to the bottom and to fix it we are need to take every link separately and update transition delay for each link so let's take this and let's say that for the second link the transition delay should be 0.4 seconds so let's do nf child and child second should have a transition delay of 0.4 seconds and now we need to do for i don't know how many links do we have two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve like twelve two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay and now three four five whoops five six seven eight nine whoops nine ten eleven twelve we don't need the last one i think and here 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 and so on 0 0.8 0 0.9 and one second 1.1 second 1.2 1.3 and 1.4 now let's see if we open well that's i think that's too small uh, too slow uh, so let's refresh yeah they're doing this much faster so uh, we can start with 0.2 and then we can do 0 0.25, 0 0.30, 0 0.35, 0 0.40, 0 0.45, half second, uh, 0 0.55, 0 0.6, 0 0.65, 0 0.7, and 0 0.75 second. And now let's try on our. Yeah, I think now it looks much better. You see? So let me refresh. Yeah, uh, it works really nice so let's see i'm doing something here and then i'm clicking yeah i think it looks awesome right uh, but uh, i think that the next thing is actually this uh, 
that those things show when we when we scroll down and uh, well maybe we can put it inside navigation as well well it doesn't hurt or we can create a new uh, script so it will be prettier let's do another script and the source will be scripts slash uh, scroll.js we don't have it yet but we will create it new file scroll js and now we want to do this thing that uh, when we scroll this thing uh, appears from the bottom and fades in so it's opacity zero in the beginning and then it's opacity one so to fix this uh, scrolling thing we are going to add a intersection observer so let's define it as a constant because uh, this will not change let's call this one observer and uh, it will be a new intersection observer and uh, it takes the function so it's the function and uh, it uh, it's a callback so uh, we can tell what should be done with the elements when observer discovers those elements so we have entries that are html elements and we have some options here that we can use or uh, we don't need them but uh, then with this observer we need to observe stuff so we need to observe um actually we do observer observe and we need to observe every section but because we have so many sections um, we can either do section and uh, oops sorry not like this uh, we need to pass a document query selector and then we need to put all sections so we can do section and nth child and first and we can do we can do it like this we have like i think four so we can do two three four and uh, or we can make it prettier by doing a loop so let's uh, so let's make it a loop and uh, so for all sections so document query selector section for each whoops and first we need to um, or let's see for each can we do for each maybe we can for each a section let's do we'll have a section here as an as a variable for each section and we want to observe it so let's do observer observe section and uh, now let's see maybe we have some extra options here now we have only target okay we get options uh, here so um for the entries that observer has discovered what do we want to do uh, let's do entries those will be actually sections so let's do for each and for each now here we need a callback so let's do function and for each and here inside we get an entry or a section so we can call it a section actually so for each section what do we want to do the section is actually uh, an object that uh, observer has discovered and it has a target and this is actually this html element that we can add or do stuff with we can access class names and uh, as you remember we don't have any class names on the sections we have only some styling so we can add actually some class names so let's add the class name of active active but um, first before we do this we need to check that uh, that it's actually visible by observer here so we need to do if and uh, we can do section is intersecting so it's appearing or it's showing up and we do like this now let's maybe add some styling to the section active so let's go quickly to style css and let's do a section and uh, well let's add some styling maybe here for the content so and uh, let's say that section active div content div content will have a border of five pixels solid red when it's active and now let's see here nothing has changed section active yes and uh, let's see yeah we'll inspect this and we have section without any class name let's maybe start by putting an alert here let's do or maybe console log to see if it actually works let's do a section let's do a console log on the section and we see we get an error on this line 10 let's see um this doesn't have a for each okay because this thing actually uh, finds only one element 
So we need to do query selector all. And now we can see everything works and uh, we get this red thing, red border. But uh, now let's fix it to show the border slowly. Or maybe let's remove this border and uh, let's say that when it's active, it will be opacity of one. When it's not active, so let's scroll here, section div content without active, the opacity will be zero and we'll add the transition of um, half of the second on opacity and uh, this will be linear. So now you can see it appears, but maybe let's do one second. And if I scroll, okay, this is already visible. Let me inspect this. And if I inspect here, let's see how many of those are active. Okay, so uh, the first one is active, this one is active, this one is not active yet, and this one is not active yet either. So if we scroll, yeah, it shows. So this works. And one thing I think we can fix is that when we are initiating this, uh, sorry, we don't have any options here actually. Options is the second para. So the first is this callback, callback where we say what should be done. And the second is options here. And here we can add the uh, threshold. And let's say it will be like, uh, I don't know, 80%. So let's do uh, 0.8. And now the animation will show only when at least 80% is visible. So now we are not animating the content that is underneath because we are seeing only this part. And now you see, and now you see, and now you see. Yeah, so that's cool. We can change the threshold that will dictate when the animation should uh, start. So now it doesn't animate the content that is uh, down there because we need to scroll to see at least 80% of this. We can do also like 99. So now if I refresh, it uh, shows when we see the whole uh, slide. But let's change it to 80%. Yeah, uh, we could uh, also add some animation that it appears from the bottom. So uh, let's say that, uh, let's see, on the beginning it will be also bottom um, zero and bottom 15% view height will be when it's active. And now we have only transition on opacity. We can do a transition on all properties. Yeah, maybe we can uh, make it bottom of 10 view height. Yeah and a little bit faster, like 0.5 seconds. Let's see what they have it, what they have. Yeah, we could do different uh, delays on each element, but uh, well, I think we don't need it. Uh, one thing, I would like to fix this uh, button animation here. So it will be almost the same that we did for, the, uh, for those um, lines here, but uh, now we'll just have, uh, it will take all the space. Right, so uh, this one is uh, this element, I think. Yes, uh, so let's say that uh, we'll have a magic before element here with empty content. Maybe let's put test here to see if it works. It does no, but maybe we need to make like display block first to see it. Oh, sorry, wrong, uh, wrong window. Okay, now we see this and we can remove this. And let's do that. It will have a width of 100%. And uh, this should be position relative. So we can do position absolute on this one. Position absolute on this one. And let's say that uh, it will be bottom zero. And uh, let's add uh, the half of it to 50% for now. And background color of red. Yeah, almost there. Uh, let's do also left zero. Yes, and uh, now let's say that the half will be 100% when it's over. So um, I will copy this selector. And when it's over, then the B4 thing should be half of 100%. And we'll add the transition here. Transition on half and it will be 0 0.3 seconds and linear or is is in out, why not? Be 0% here, yeah, something like this. But um, we will add here top, well, no, uh, we'll, here we'll add the bottom 
I think I think should be bottom initial here and top zero. And here, let's see. Why another way around should be bottom zero and here should be bottom zero and top initial. Let's see. Yeah, but uh, why background instead? Yes, it works. And the small thing is that text should be black. And I think we can fix it by putting the texts like learn more and stuff uh, inside the, inside uh, another span element. So I will select all those all those links and I will create a span and I'll close this span before closing the a tag. Let's see how it looks like here. Okay, here we should remove it. And now we can put the span with Z index of, uh, I don't know, five or something. So let's do section and div content a tag and span element inside should be position of relative. And let's add some Z index of, I don't know, maybe one will be enough, but we need to change the color to black, but no, when it's, uh, we shouldn't do this when it's not active. So only when a tag is active or hover, sorry, hover span, the color should be black. Yeah, we can add some transition here as well. So the transition on the color 0.3 seconds and is in out. Why not? And now let's see. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Let's see once again. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Yeah, I think it works. And we have cool animation. If you want to do the same for this, for those, so uh, they will show this one first and then this and then this. Then you just need to add delay as we did here on those links. But uh, you can probably do it yourself now. And uh, yeah, I think we are done here. So that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. You can also check my channels for other website clones if you are interested. Otherwise, I wish you a pleasant day and see you in the next video.